what is going on, people. I am here for a dual video. You're going to get two things at once. You're going to get a collecting on a budget half, and then you're going to get a unboxing half, where I kind of didn't have a budget because Amazon had a really big sale, and I went pretty crazy. I got 10 titles for about 100 bucks, but it's probably half of what I would spend at Best Buy, which I'll get into. But first, let me get into the uh, collecting on a budget half. People seem to like this. Um, so the first time I went out, I did a, you know, went out to Walmart and Best Buy and stuff and looked for the cheapest movies I could get. Uh, the second collecting on a budget, I did Horror Pack, which is a monthly subscription service where you can get four Blu-rays or four DVDs. That's probably one of the cheaper ways to do it. This time, a lot of people told me to go and check out eBay, which, to tell you the truth, I only bought a few things on eBay before, but I decided to go <coughs> and look to see what I can get. And I went on eBay for uh, one movie. I went for Sister Act. It, they had a dual pack. They had Sister Act and Sister Act 2 in uh, one case and whatever. Didn't have the second one, so I'm like, eh, let me look for this. Well... I gave myself a $40 budget on eBay, and I kind of came short. It came to this right here. I bought a lot, and it was nine movies, and it came to like $32 and like $6 shipping. So it came to like $38 bucks come, uh, for the whole thing, for the whole, you know, nine movies and uh, shipping and handling. So in this box right here, I'm guessing that's what it is, um, this is what I got from eBay. So there should be nine movies in here. Uh, like I said, really haven't really bought from eBay. So to tell you the truth, you know, I could open this up and there could be, you know, all broken stuff or whatever. But the package, I mean, is is packed really tight. So I'm guessing, hoping that everything should be good. And the one main reason I bought the lot for that is because it was nine movies I actually didn't own. Um... So that's pretty much why I got the lot. Plus, like I said, with shipping, it came to like 38 bucks. So for nine movies, I really couldn't beat that. So uh, I'm just going to keep on talking as I open up this box. Like I said, it is, you know, uh, wound, not wound, but taped up pretty nicely. So everything should at least be, you know, kept protected. So let me get into it. This might take me a little while. There you go. Use my muscles and uh, should be able to rip this tape off. Hopefully, you know, most people will pause and use uh, knives and whatever. I'm just going to use my superhuman strength. And when I say that, I mean, you know, my weakling strength. And I'll see if I could, uh, okay, now I see where it's, where it's, the opening is, so. As I uh, open this, um... How is everybody doing? Uh, if you're having a good day, uh, type it in the, you know, uh, let me know in the uh, comments section. So, okay, making my way. Almost done. Almost done. Like I said, I should be using like a knife or uh, like a, a scissors or something like that. But I decided to be a pain in the ass and open it this way. So, I got the box open. So here we go. I'm going to pull the movies out one by one. And like I said, uh, it was nine movies that I didn't have, but to tell you the truth, at this point in time, I don't remember what they are. So, uh, we got some nice packaging. So, it looks like I said, it looks like they all should be in good shape. And uh, here we go. I'll pull them out one by one. It looks like one of them has a uh, slip cover, which I wasn't uh, didn't know. But here we go. All right, I got, uh, like I said, the main reason I got it was this. It came with... Uh, Sister Act and Sister Act 2. Uh, so let's just open it up and just see. Uh, well, um, let's see. No, actually, it comes with uh, Sister Act, Sister Act 2 on Blu-ray, and then uh, Sister Act, but then I got a extra disc in here. Uh, that's different. Okay, well... Maybe they didn't know, and I got The Craft as well. So it comes with uh, Sister Act 1 and 2 on Blu-ray and DVD, and uh, I got an extra disc in there. All right, so that's different. All right, the other movie I got was 
contact uh, on Blu-ray. So open this up and it looks like, uh, you know, everything looks good so far. So that's contact. Uh, the other one is the last song with uh, Miley Cyrus and uh, Liam's he Liam Hemsworth. And I guess, I guess this is the, s the movie that they, uh, you know, started dating on or whatever. So it comes with both Blu-ray and DVD. Uh, the other one is Elizabeth, the Golden Age. Did not know about this one, but again, it was part of the lot, so I decided to, you know, just take take a crack at it. Uh, so, like I said, another one comes with uh, a, a slip cover here, so that's pretty cool, and that's AI artificial intelligence. So, open this up and see if. Uh, yep. Okay, the disc looks fine. So that's that one artificial intelligence this is a uh, confessions of a shopaholic no idea you know it just came in that uh came in the uh, uh lot so you know didn't really have much of a, a choice not to get it or not this is bad teacher i had this on uh dvd but now it's uh upgraded to blu-ray so this comes with Blu-ray and DVD. Then I got the other Boylan Girl. I had this one on DVD as well. But now it's uh, an updated to Blu-ray. And then the last one is with Cher and Nicolas Cage, and that's Moonstruck. This I did not own on any um, platform, shape, or form. So there you go. Like I said, bought the lot. Under 40 bucks, so I hit my goal, and uh, there you go. Two, four, six, eight, nine. So technically, I got 10 movies for just under 40 bucks. Um, but like I said, six dollars of that was uh, shipping and handling. So technically, I spent about less than three dollars a movie for uh, these. So can't complain too much. So that was my collecting on a budget. Like I said, what I'm going to do is... Actually, I got some more movies coming where I bought it for cheap with uh, no shipping attached. I think there's three movies coming, which I got for under 10 bucks. So once they come in, I guess I'll just unbox them. But um, I will count that, I guess, as uh, collecting on a budget. But like I said, Amazon had a sale on a lot of these movies that came out recently. Last time I checked... I looked and I found Date Night for $10 on Amazon, but at Best Buy, they had it for still going for almost $22, $23. Bucks. So as I clicked on Date Night, it brought up a whole bunch of different movies for between... I did not spend more than $12 on any of these movies, so that's pretty much why I got them. I got 10 titles, and it looks like at least six of them came in today. So like I said, they're all... Pretty much new and uh, unused, and a lot of them come with, you know, the Blu-ray and uh, DVD and a digital copy. Uh, this one I got for like eight bucks, I believe. It stars Peter Dinklage. No idea what it's about, but uh, Rememory. Like I said, no idea what this one's about, but uh, for the price, I couldn't pass it up. Uh, this one stars Naomi uh, Rapace, Orlando Bloom, John Malkovich, Michael Douglas, and the movie's called. Unlocked. This again, like I said, Blu-ray and uh, digital digital HD. So it looks like there's another two in this one. Uh, I've been passing on this one. Like I, uh, every time I see it, it's still you know twenty something bucks. So I keep on passing it, and I didn't know what it was about. But then I found out it's about that whole Paris incident where. I guess there was terrorists on the train and there was three American teenagers uh, or I don't know if they were teenagers or early 20s or whatever that pretty much stopped it happening. So it's 1517 to Paris. This is another one that was uh, 10 bucks on Amazon. I don't know how that long they're going to last, but like I said, a lot of these movies are 10 bucks right now. So pretty much, you know, I could have waited till I had a, in my mind to wait uh, till Black Friday and probably get them around, you know, eight bucks, if that, depending on, you know, the newer movies, they'll probably be around that price. But I'm like, hey, 10 bucks, let me get them now, I can't beat it. This is another one that recently came out and it's still 20 bucks everywhere else, and that's The Post. 
And then, like I said, I got one more package. I'm guessing this is either one or two more. Um, really, the only movie that I, I I wanted, and I saw, actually, there's three. All right. So, uh, like I said, there was one movie I really bought it for, and I, it was Date Night. Date Night, I looked, and it was 10 bucks on Amazon. I'm like, this might be wrong, but uh, lo and behold, it was 10 bucks. Uh, I guess it didn't have that two-day shipping or free one-day shipping, but uh, this is another one that literally the other day I went to Best Buy and it was nineteen ninety nine, and right now on Amazon it's going for ten bucks, and that's downsizing with uh, what do you call it, Matt Damon. The premise sounds really cool. Uh, this one's been out for a while. The slip cover is pretty ripped, but uh, what could you do? And that's Daddy's Home Two, and then the last one is. Father, father figures with um, Luke Owen and uh, Ed Helms and uh, a whole bunch of other people. Cat Williams, Terry Bradshaw, Christopher Walken, Glenn Close, a uh, whole bunch of people. So, like I said, I got ten movies. So there's three other movies coming, and uh, I got them for all for a hundred bucks. And uh, right now it's two, four, six. Here's seven of them, and like I said, they're pretty much all new. The post. Uh, 1517 to Paris, Unlocked, Rememory, Father Figures, Daddy's Home, Downsizing, and um, the other ones. This is probably one of the bigger updates that I got, you know, in a long time, or, or the most movies and one shot I got besides my Black Friday haul, and that's uh, Moonstruck, The Other Boiling Girl, Bad Teacher, Confessions of a Shopaholic, uh, Artificial Intelligence, Elizabeth, The Golden Age, the last song, Contact, and Sister Act, and Six Sister Act 2. So it's a nice little, you know, stack of movies I got here um, in one day. Um, now I just got to find a uh, spot to put all these things in. So uh, I guess the next uh, couple movies should be coming within the you know, next couple of days or so. So I'll probably be doing another update uh, for that. But hopefully you enjoy this thing. Like I said, um, the... But uh, collecting on a budget seems to be going pretty well. So if you enjoy that section of it, let me know. Or if you like the whole thing, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think. If I should, uh, you know, try different places to find it. Actually, I do have, um, now that I think of it, as I the, the bag is sitting by my feet. Uh, actually, at the Dollar Tree, if you have a Dollar Tree by you, uh, you can get some cheap movies. And I did get two movies. Uh, like I said, I totally forgot about this, but looked down and saw it. So um, I got Kidnap Mr. Uh, Heineken. No idea. But for a dollar, um, not going to you know complain too much. And it has a slip cover. And the other one, it's uh, Josh Holloway and Chris Brown in uh, Battle of the Year. So I got these two movies for $2.00. So, like I said, if you have a Dollar Tree around you, uh, you know, go ahead and check it out. They have a whole bunch of DVDs, but I'm not a, really much of a DVD collector anymore. None of the titles really jumped out at me and said, hey, listen, I, you know, I need to have this kind of deal. If there's one that seems pretty cool, I'll get it. But they really, at least the Dollar Tree that was by me, really didn't have uh, much of a selection. So those are the only two movies I did get. And, uh, yeah, so hopefully you enjoyed this. Like I said, uh, if you enjoy this, give me a thumbs up. Let me know, you know, which section you enjoyed, if you like the whole thing, where to find other movies. Um, if you haven't already and you enjoyed the video you just watched, definitely hit that subscribe button. Like I said, hit that like button. Hit that little bell button so you know when I do upload uh, more of my stuff. And, uh, yeah, I guess uh, until next time, I'll see you guys.